Did a 10-year-old boy die because some amusement park operators rushed to build a slide so they could be on reality TV? That's a suggestion from prosecutors who charged two park officials in connection with the death of a boy who was decapitated when he was thrown from what's billed as the world's tallest water slide. Was it a rush job? Accusations flew today that the water slide where a young boy was decapitated was completed in a hurry, all to impress the producers of the Travel Channel show Extreme Water Parks. A 20-count indictment says water park executives ignored warnings, destroyed documents, and skirted basic engineering flaws and forged ahead with the grand opening anyway. There's only one question to ask. Are you insane? <laughs> The slide is called Verrucht, German for insane. Riders had to climb 264 stairs to reach the top, the same height as Niagara Falls. The making of the slide was featured on an episode of Extreme Water Parks in June 2014. Sandbags were used in place of passengers, and you can see them going airborne during test runs, a foreshadowing of the disaster to come. Oh. 10-year-old Caleb Schwab was decapitated when he was thrown from the slide in 2016, two years after it opened in Kansas City. The indictment says before Caleb's death, 14 other riders suffered injuries. Now, Park Director of Operations Tyler Austin Miles and co-owner Jeffrey Henry have been criminally charged in connection with the boy's death. Henry was quoted in the indictment as calling the ride a seriously dangerous piece of equipment. There are things we don't know about it. In a statement, Miles, who's pled not guilty, said he had scheduled his wife to ride on Verruckt on the day of the accident. These are not the actions of someone who believed the ride to be dangerous. On the Travel Channel show, concern was openly expressed about the ride's safety by one of the designers who was indicted today, John Schooley. We're going to have to redesign the entire slide. Conception to grand opening took just 20 months. The park where Caleb was killed said in a statement they're confident that when all the facts are presented, it'll be clear that what happened on the ride was an unforeseen accident.